Hey class, I'm Mr Thornton, you've got 17 days until May and I'm going to help you succeed in your GCSE. This lesson, mnemonics. This is going to be a quick simple video all about mnemonics because they are a pretty simple topic. Mnemonics are a memory aid, a way to remember some information. They're particularly good for helping you remember lists of information or sequences of information. So it may be if it's a list that they don't need to be in a particular order, but they're also particularly good for remembering things if they need to be in a specific order. So for example, the sequence of the sections of the electromagnetic spectrum, or the sequence that England's kings and queens have been in. Those are the sorts of things which mnemonics are perfect for. For most of the sequences or groups of things which you have to learn for your GCSE, there are probably already mnemonics out there, because other people have had to learn them before you. And thanks to the internet, it's pretty easy to find them. So for a start, if you're not sure what to do for a particular mnemonic and you can't come up with your own, then Google mnemonic and then the name of the topic which you're stuck on. And there's a good chance that you'll find that someone else has been stuck on it and already figured out the answer for you. The way mnemonics work, or the way they most commonly work at least, is they will take the first letter of each word in that sequence or in that group, and they will then turn it into either a phrase which you can pronounce, or a sentence which makes some sort of sense, where the first letter of each word in the sentence will correspond to the first letter of each thing in your sequence. A good example, and quite possibly the most famous of all of these examples, is a way to remember the sequence of the colours of the rainbow. Those colours are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. And the phrase, Richard of York gave battle in vain, lets you remember them. So R for Richard and R for red. O for of and O for orange and so on. So that you get red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. This phrase refers to the defeat of Richard the Duke of York at the Battle of Wakefield, though I don't believe the Battle of Wakefield is on most history GCSEs, so you may not have heard of it. In fact, an awful lot of people won't have heard of it. And so it's a phrase which is sort of passed into cultural memory without most people really understanding where it comes from. Here in Yorkshire, an awful lot of people do understand where it comes from though, and so came up with an alternative because they didn't really want to talk about the defeat and death of Richard of York. The alternative which they came up with was round trees of York give best in value. This illustrates an important point, which is that there's more than one possible mnemonic for a sequence, and you can come up with alternatives just as the people of Yorkshire have done for this particular mnemonic. In the American school system, both Richard of York and Roundtrees of York are pretty much unheard of. They don't really know who either of them are because they're not that relevant to American history. And so in most American schools, what they'll teach you is just Roy G. Biv. So mnemonics can also be phrases which can just be pronounced. As it happens, this one can be pronounced quite easily. And teachers will often encourage their students to think of a person named Roy G. Biv. For any sequence or group of things, you can come up with mnemonics for that, and it's applicable to a wide range of subjects. So for example, in chemistry, chemistry teachers will often teach that it's important when thinking about electrons to think about an oil rig. An oil rig is short for oxidation is loss of electrons, and reduction is gain of electrons. History teachers, on the other hand, when talking about the Treaty of Versailles, might encourage their students to think about the word gargle because this gives the key terms of the Treaty of Versailles, the key points which it focuses on, which is G for guilt, A for arms, R for reparations, G for German territory, and the LE on the end for League of Nations. Now, sometimes you've got to twist it a little bit. Sometimes you've got to try a little bit hard to make it fit, but that's okay. That's fine, so long as it helps you remember, that's all you need to do. And this does help you remember. I learnt that one about three minutes ago. So if you've got a sequence or group of things to remember and you can't find a mnemonic that someone else has already come up with, try developing your own. Write out the first letters of the words. If they don't need to be in a particular order, then mix them up and try and make an acronym out of them. If they do need to be in order, then you could try a sentence where the first letter of each word 
is a word in that sentence. When you're coming up with that sort of sentence, it really helps if you can come up with something which makes grammatical sense rather than just another list of words, because then you've just got two lists of words to remember. And it also really helps if you come up with something which is quite a vivid picture, because that's going to help you remember it. If it's something which is fairly mundane and boring, then it's not going to be all that interesting. Whereas if it's something quite graphic, something interesting or violent or disgusting, all of those things will stick in your memory a lot better. I hope that video really helped you. If it did, it really helps my channel when you like, subscribe and share these videos. Let people know I'm going to succeed in my GCSE. All the links and info for this video are in the description and please let me know what you thought in the comments or on Twitter at MrThorntonUK or use the hashtag SucceedInMyGCSE. There are loads more GCSE science videos on my channel too. Here's another one which YouTube thinks you might find useful. You can click my picture just here to subscribe, click down there to check how well you understood with the Snap Quiz website and app, and you can click just here to get my revision guides. Good luck in your GCSEs everyone, and thanks very much for watching.